Good morning, everybody. How you doing today? My name's Andrew. I'm Matt. I'm Tracy. I'm Joel. I'm Gavin. I'm Daniel. I'm Teddy. I'm Lauren. I'm Aunt Becky. I'm Megan. I'm Grandpa. And we're some of the veggie boys. And girls. And we'd like to thank you for stopping by. If you're new here, please consider subscribing because we can grow a lot of things on the farm, but one thing we can't grow is this channel without your help. Right now we're in the farm market and Matthew and I just got finished setting everything up and we have just about everything that we need. Uh, it is a Tuesday. We are now open on Monday and Tuesday. And yesterday was actually pretty busy for being our first time open for the year on a Monday. So the farm market is gonna continuously get busier and busier and we're gonna go through more product. So something we're gonna have to keep in mind is we may have to make an extra trip to the wholesaler every week now. Being open those two extra days really helps us to appreciate that spring is here and summer is on the way, which is pretty exciting. We've been able to get out into the fields and do some plowing. Uh, the boys have been spreading some nitrogen, so it's been pretty cool. But to start off our morning, we have now got the farm market all set up. We picked a really good time to start opening on Mondays and Tuesdays because we are moving into a holiday weekend. And usually when you have a holiday weekend, the farm market gets really, really busy. So that's something we're gonna have to deal with. Besides the farm market being busy with the week that we have coming up, we still have plenty to do in the greenhouses. For example, we have Aunt Bonnie, and right now she's transplanting some bell peppers. Now this is a mixed bell, so we have some purple bell, yellow bell, red bell. There's all different types that are in that tray. Since Bonnie is gonna work on transplanting basically all day, we're gonna need to have plenty of trays filled for her. Right now, Dad and I are putting some trays together and then we're gonna be filling them with the machine. So we've talked about these trays at length before. They are called 806s. There are six cells in a square and there's eight squares all together, hence 806. So you can get 48 separate plants in one of these trays. Now what we'll do a lot of times is we'll break them apart and sell the packs. So if we have peppers in these, you can buy a six pack of peppers or you get 12, you get up to 48 in one tray. So we go through quite a few of these trays. There's a lot of filling that goes on when we think about this, um, but it is really important because it's a lot easier to sell them that way. Not only do we do the 806s, but we have different types of trays that we will use. Uh, we have the single pots, but the 806s are very popular. in this machine. You're like a professional, you know that. That's where I learned how to do it from you. So I spent a little time filling trays. We have an entire cart full of trays for Aunt Bonnie. And then I also have the single pots made up. For right now, they should be good, but we're gonna be working in this area, so if they need anything, they can just give me a call and I can fill up more. Now that the girls are taken care of in the greenhouse, I'm gonna help get the animals taken care of. Dad has already got the calves done, so we need to collect eggs, feed the chickens, and also feed the cattle. And this is why we need the great eggs. We got a bunch of eggs there, and then we got all the baskets full. We just got all of the eggs graded, and while we were doing that, Daniel and Petey got the cattle taken care of and Dad got the calves finished. And since all of the eggs were graded, we were able to get all of them collected. So now we're done with the animals for the morning. We have got a few different things going on right now. One, we had a hole in the forklift tire, so we're working on fixing that. And one of the biggest reasons why we need to fix it is because we have a load of seed coming today. And from what we've heard, it's a pretty big load, so we're gonna need the forklift. Callie is in the side-by-side. -side. She's making sure everything is going well. And we've also been working on spreading nitrogen, so we have the fertilizer spreader, and Petey and Daniel are working on greasing it and getting it hooked up. Looks like we got a pinch right here. Nothing too terrible, but uh, 
Patching forklift tires is always difficult because we know a thing or two about patching forklift tires. <laughs> I don't know. Found this guy, he's walking around with a camera. Same as you, same Unbelievable. as you. Unbelievable. We've got our tire back on our forklift and it's working really, really well. We also have our fertilizer spreader all greased. I think you have to put it up more, Dad. Put the fertilizer in the bin because we know it holds 1500 pounds so we're just verifying that when we spread that we're getting the right amount on so if you're off if you're off a couple hundred pounds over over 25 30 acres it adds up to a lot so we're trying to make it so it's uh we're putting the right amount on for the day and then we'll be out of everything that we bought while they were spreading fertilizer uh, Matthew and I have been in the largest greenhouse I've been helping out the girls filling trays filling pots and Matthew has been moving some perennials back outside we had them stowed in here because we had a few colder days we originally had all of our day lilies right here but we took them into the greenhouse we cleaned them up and we just wanted to pull them out of the cold because the temperatures were really going to drop and when we pulled them out of the cold they were looking like this so a little on the smaller side but now that we moved them into the greenhouse some of them have really exploded so moving the daylilies out here is just to get them acclimated to the temperatures, acclimated to the weather, because they will stay outside now. They originally sat down here on the bottom side, but we wanted to move them. We're gonna put butterfly bushes and some other perennials that get taller. Uh, we're gonna put those there, because if they're on the hill, they fall over. And we don't want them to fall over. more difficult running the machine by yourself but Matthew's working on some other jobs dad's working on some other things and the girls needed some trays filled pretty quickly so I'm getting them filled but it's just a little extra work when you're doing it by yourself The girls have been pretty busy with their transplanting. They got a lot of the mixed bell peppers taken care of. They got regular bell done. Aunt Rhonda is transplanting some Miragolds. And now Aunt Bonnie is working on sweet cherry peppers. We should be good for now here in the greenhouse. I just got the machine filled up with soil again. 
We've got plenty of trays over here for the girls. And my dad and Matthew already tagged all the stuff that they previously transplanted, and they just took it down to the lower greenhouses. The alarms just went off. It is now lunchtime, so we're gonna head up into the farm market and see what we're having. Ooh, Grammy has got a nice spread here. It looks like we're having chicken wraps for lunch. And what's this? It is um, cream cheesecake. Cream cheesecake. Whoa, what a deal. Lunch was really, really good, but to start off our afternoon, we're up in the germination greenhouse. And as you can see, we've been working on moving some cold crops around. This greenhouse is really, really nice for starting seeds, but for cold crops, you don't wanna leave them in here too long because right now, ooh, the temperature is just pushing 100. Some stuff we have not moved out yet has been the broccoli varieties. Right here, we have some beautiful broccoli starts. And if you look, every single tray has had a wonderful germination. And the same with all the other cold crops, we're gonna have to move it out of here because it's just too hot. It's gonna cause the plants to shoot up really tall, and then they're gonna get spindly, which is something we do not want because we run the risk of breaking them or the plants run the risk of going into shock when they're transplanted. To combat how warm it has been, we did open up the windows and doors in this greenhouse, which is good because when it was closed up, it was hotter than 100 degrees. Now those broccoli plants are gonna need to be moved out of that greenhouse today. Uh, we just ran out of room on the wagon that we had. One thing I just wanna mention, look at this kale. I am so impressed by it. We got this beautiful kale that has grown like crazy. And we have some other stuff on here that's grown really well. Our cauliflower looks nice. And we also have some beautiful kohlrabi. We just got finished moving some stuff into the largest greenhouse. Everything on the wagon does not need to be transplanted. So that's kind of like a set it and forget it. But we did bring some more trays in here that the girls are gonna have to go through. Now most of these here are ready to be transplanted. Some need to spend a little more time growing, but all those trays over there and these trays along here need to be transplanted. We just got down around back with our wagon. I wanted to show you greenhouse number five has no more calves in it. So it's not known as the cafeteria anymore this year. It's back to being greenhouse number five. The calves that were in greenhouse number five, most of them were put out with the pastured cattle. And we did have a few calves go into the lean to. And something we've done in greenhouse number four is we put all our pallets into place to make sure that we fill the greenhouse up as much as possible. We don't want to waste any space. that we just brought down into greenhouse number five. So we're just working on getting this side cleaned out and then we'll work on getting the other side cleaned out tomorrow. Sides have been rolled up and now we're taking pallets and laying it across here. That way the plants can rest on the pallets and not on the ground. Well, we got our first wagon of vegetable plants moved down into greenhouse number five. We still do have some more to grab today, so we're gonna get working on that. But it's exciting to see plants in this greenhouse. And I guess there was already flowers in there, but it's just exciting that there's vegetable plants in there now. That's the big deal. Daniel is bringing in our last two trays, and then we'll have all of our cold crops for planting number one moved into greenhouse number five. It's really exciting when you think about it. All of these plants lined up here will be the first planting of cold crops. 
Yeah, that's pretty cool. What's even cooler is some of you may be eating this stuff one day. That's cool. After we got done with working in the greenhouses and we got the animals fed for the night, we started working on our new seed order that showed up. Now for those of you that do not know, Dad sells Pioneer seed corn and seed beans. So all this stuff is for our local customers. So over the next few weeks, we're gonna do our best at breaking down all this stuff that we received and taking it to our customers. There's a lot here and it's gonna be a lot of work, but something that we enjoy doing. And uh, it's nice to see the customers get excited when they get their corn and beans. So did you ever get those fences fixed? There's a lot to fix out there, but I think we made a good dent today. So you're telling me there's gonna be no horses running around? Yeah, I'm telling you there's gonna be no horses running around. What about cows? I mean, sometimes the cows are out. We don't talk about that. Yeah, that actually never happens. <laughs> so we have something very special going on tonight. So we are getting closed up. We're getting everything pulled off the shelves and into the cooler because we need to get going. Farm market is now closed up and we are all heading up to the house. So we are up at the house tonight. There is no dinner on the table, but that's because we have a special event going on tonight. So since we got a special event going on, that means this is where we're gonna be ending the video. I would like to thank everyone for watching and I hope to see you next time. Bye bye